Hey, Jose Passion here, back again with another video. <clears throat> this time I'm in Hydro Near. I have some announcements to make regarding Hydro Near. So recently I got banned from the Hydro Near Discord server. And I had been banned from the Hydro Near Steam Workshop as well. He took everything from me over one specific mod. So, the mod in question here is an achievements mod. I developed this mod in private, never put it on the Steam Workshop. Only intended to use it on myself. It's simply a toggle to be able to enable achievements in in your game save or disable them and turn achievements on and off so I made it for myself and then I saw you know some people wanted to be able to turn in achievements on in a save where they were not using any mods it was in uh, survival mode and then you couldn't get the achievements enabled for some reason I wanted a quick way to fix that well, I decided to help a person be able to fix their legitimate save with this mod well I shared the pack file with them totally in private and moderators got wind of that and banned me took everything from me I mean I was not a I wasn't aware that that was not allowed because I had seen that another user named Venom had done the same thing this user named Venom right here has his name on there in the Bridgeport website under mods he was able to use an achievements mod to fix a save so I thought that I could do the same. Why not? If he did it, why can't I do it? But apparently I wasn't allowed to do that. So I got banned. Now, I believe this is highly unjustified and highly extreme for one small mistake. I mean, I've done so much for Hydroneer that I even have my name right here on the website. I am such a big modder that they put me on here. But now, just because of a lack of understanding and one small mistake, they're gonna take everything from me. Really. Really. It's gone. I mean, I meant no disrespect to the moderators or the dev. Simply just trying to help people. And I've worked so hard making mods and done so much that I got to here. Became known in the community. And they're gonna go turn around, take everything from me. I just find that very disturbing, very appalling. It should have never happened. Very disappointed with moderators and the developer for doing this to someone who's known and respected in the community and someone who's people's mod loves their mods. People love my mods. and you're gonna go around and just take everything I find that not fair at all and I humbly and respectfully ask that you can unban me and restore all my access and in return I promise to never break the rules again and I will thoroughly read the rules section 
and ask for clarification when I need it. I'll give you my humblest apology. All I ask is you return me to your community who has grown to love my mods and me as a person. I made friends on there. I got to know all the modders and everything. I just want to be back with them. That's all I ask. Go ahead, reset my pokes, whatever. Whatever else that you can do as punishment, but don't take everything from me. Leave my mods alone. Let me have my friends and talk to the community. That's not too much to ask for. I mean, it's just, it's just a game. It's not like I went out and, and committed a crime. It's not like I spam messaged or threatened somebody in their DMs or did anything malicious or anything like that. So. All I ask is for everything to be restored the way it was. And to come up with some alternative punishment. And in return, I'll vow to never break the rules again and make sure I'm clear on them moving forward. And give you the humblest apologies. So, anyways. <clears throat> Uh, moving on from announcement. Uh, in the meantime, uh, I did make a, a separate server for Hydrogen here, where my mods are are posted in case you've lost access due to being removed from my mods being removed from Steam Workshop and stuff. Um, I'll link the the server in the description below, and. Um, There'll be a, a mods, a zip file titled mods in there that you can download. It contains the pack files for my mods. It'll look like this. Get the pack files. We'll have to do it this way. Since you can't get it on Steam for now. Um, but once you download that zip file, you'll get these mods pack files. And what you're going to do with them, you go here in the search, put app data. Then go to your app data folder. Percent app data, percent, click the first result. Okay, and then you end up in like the roaming folder or something, just go here, add data, and you'll be back in app data. So now we're going to go to local and local. Scroll down to find mining, which is mining. You know, saved. You can go to packs. Now, if you don't have a packs folder, then you have to create one. Easy peasy, just go new folder, right click empty space, new folder, and make a packs folder like this. So, once you have packs folder, go inside and put your pack files in here. Once you've got the pack files that you want loaded in here, we'll go ahead, close it down the folder, and then you will open Hydronear. So, once Hydronear is open, just load in, uh, well, first go to here, make sure you have HML and RFC mod shop installed. <coughs> make sure they're here in your installed mods folder. I have RFC mod shop here. And I have HML here. So make sure that's all installed. Okay. Then you can go ahead and load up a save. 
whatever you like. And the mods will be here. Or in the shop until you go and buy them in the RFC mod shop. And you can use them. I already have these here already. And I was testing them with my mod testing save, but yeah. Okay, so. That's how you're going to get, go ahead and get the mods. Uh, this alternative route since Steam uh, method is down. So there you go, guys. You can still enjoy my mods this way for now. And, uh, as always, you know, hit the like button if you liked it. Subscribe for more content. We'll be uh, on a more positive note next time. This one was a downer, but anyways. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. And as always, I'll see you all next time.